Yo, what's going on guys? It's Cameron here. Welcome back to another video. There's a lot of you guys that are looking for ways to improve your PC, whether that means you're having lag spikes or just overall slowness in game. This video is going to help you guys out. We're going to be going over all the best ways to improve your performance and most of all boost your FPS in Fortnite. But before we do that, we have to talk about a few things like performance mode. If you guys aren't using performance mode and you're on a lower end machine, you need to turn that on now. The reason being is it gives up a small amount of like graphics and textures for a much bigger gain and a huge increase in FPS. So if you don't have the performance mode setting on already, you need to make sure that's on. This video is gonna be broken up into four parts and make sure you watch each part to make sure you maximize your FPS boost. So step number one is go under your Epic Games Launcher, click on these three little dots here. These three little dots are basically like options and you'll go under where it says options right here. So you'll click that and you'll notice this pop up here of installation options. This tells you everything that um, that runs when you open Fortnite. So really the only one required is this top one. If you have saved the world or high resolution textures, that's holding back your max FPS potential. You'll need to uncheck everything that isn't this top one. So that's the first quick and easy step for you guys. Make sure that is done and we'll move into part two. So part two guys is you need to make sure you have the best graphic settings in your NVIDIA control panel. You need to right click and go under NVIDIA control panel here. If you're on AMD, this will say AMD control panel, but it works the exact same. So once you got that loaded up, you're gonna make sure first off that you have the highest refresh rate selected for each of your monitors. I have a 60 Hertz and a 240 Hertz. So nice and simple. Um, on the left hand side, you'll come over here where it says adjust image settings with preview. So you'll click that. So guys, once you have this loaded up to get the max potential out of your graphics card, by default, you'll be on this middle option. It says use the advanced 3D settings. Click use my preference emphasizing. When you click on that, you'll get this, um, this like, you know, scroll wheel. Make sure it's all the way to the left on performance. What this basically does is it'll give you the very max potential for your game when you're playing and it just maximizes performance over quality, which again, we wanna sacrifice a little bit of those textures for more performance, for higher resolution, less input delay, boosting your FPS. Um, so those things are gonna help you out a lot. After you do that, come back over here on the left-hand side where it says 3D settings. Go to the second option, manage 3D settings here. So when you click on that, it gives you more in, in detail settings here. The only one you need to really concern yourself with is scroll down to the middle where it says power management mode. By default, you're on optimal power. So make sure this is selected as preferred maximum performance. So this again, just gets a little bit better quality out of your machine as it's running performance over quality, which is exactly what we want. So that's basically it for the NVIDIA control panel settings. Feel free to just close out of that and we'll jump into part number three. Alrighty guys, jumping into tip number three on how to boost your performance is clearing the display settings, also the caches and cookies of your Fortnite game. So to do this one, it will reset your display settings, but don't worry about that. That can be readjusted in like 30 seconds after you reload the game. As far as all your other settings, they will be saved and you won't have to like redo your keybinds or anything crazy like that. So all you need to do is come down here, click on this little magnifying glass and you're gonna type percent local app data percent sign. So after you do that, it'll find this little folder here. You're just gonna press enter and open up that bad boy. Then you're gonna need to scroll down to where it says Fortnite game. If you have one already created, if you did this in the past, just delete it. I know how to delete it, there we go. And then you're just gonna rename it again. So you can just do like three and then that's it, just press tab. And that's really all you have to do once you reload Fortnite. What this does is it basically just resets the settings in the game, which is kind of nice. I've noticed that that will boost your FPS a ton if you haven't done that before, especially. 
before we tackle tip number four, um, just to, to just to walk you guys through what it looks like after you do tip number three, which is resetting the caching cookies, it'll say find best settings here. So this is just gonna scan your system to apply the best settings for your system. Just click confirm, it just takes a quick second. And basically what it's doing is it's just basically reprocessing your display settings. Like I mentioned, all that can be readjusted in 30 seconds, which I'll show you guys right now. Also, when you load it back up, you'll notice that your background looks like this. It looks like like a, a blue network thing. I don't know. But don't worry about that. Again, it doesn't really matter in terms of performance. So you're going to want to go back into settings, go down here, and just make sure that you have your, um, your performance mode checked again because it will most likely turn that off. But that's fine. You just turn it back on. You're pretty much good to go. You'll just have to restart the game one more time. So at this point you guys are probably already maxing out at 240 frames per second or whatever FPS you guys want. Um, that's really the main tips. I'm going to go over the fourth and last tip right now. So for this fourth tip you'll notice that my builds kind of look like bubble wrap when I place them. They just look really bad and they kind of look like mobile builds. So there's a couple of other things that you can do as well to help with that. So I'm going to go over that right now. It was discovered by Kobe Dutton on Twitter. so. Um, shout out to him as well. So it's similar to the tip number three and and basically you got to go back to this little magnifying glass type in percent local app data followed by percent sign if I can find it there it is and then you just open that folder again you can come back down to Fortnite this time we're gonna open the original game folder so where it says Fortnite game just click that saved config and Windows client. Once you have that, all those three extra folders open, you'll see where it says game user settings. So we need to right click on this. We need to go down to properties down here in the bottom and select that. You'll notice down here, usually it'll be on read only. If you have this checked, you need to uncheck that. So just make sure this box down here at the bottom is unchecked, then you hit apply and okay. So once you take care of that, all you have to do now is just open the game user settings. It'll give you this um, fun stuff here. But basically, we're only concerned with what's at the very bottom here. You'll notice at the very bottom it says D3DRHI preference. So under this section here, you'll see where it says false and true. So this last one where it says prefer feature level ES31. This is like your bubble wrap um, like builds and stuff. So um, I don't know why this is the case or how somebody found this, but if you actually rewrite this from true to false and, uh, and then that's it, just save it and close it. This will actually fix your bubble wrap settings, which is really neat actually. So again, shout out to Fetch and Kobe Dutton for discovering this, it's really cool. So after that guys, just hit save and you're good to go. You just gotta make sure that um, your game settings are um, on read only again, just cause you don't want anything being changed in those. So hit apply on that and you're pretty much good to go. Just reload Fortnite and then start building in creative and take a look at how nice your builds look, even on performance mode. All right guys, so that's basically it. Um, you'll notice your builds look a lot better in this kind of setting. Um, but yeah guys, I like making these little videos just to help you guys out. I know I'm not the best player, but I got some good guide videos. So if you guys want to see more guide videos, just let me know in the comment section down below. As always, it's been your guy Cameron. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and bug grease.